Cindy will be chatting to Verd Eaton. Guess who is named after? Would love to hear from you if you know. I uh, will see you after that. Yeah, Monday to Friday. Oh. Now, Verd is what's known in the music industry as a breakout artist. His stunning debut solo single took us all by storm, and Verd has successfully earned himself a string of accolades uh, to, to measure up to his artistry. He also co-owns a company called Brotherhood Productions, and we have the privilege of having Verd in studio. It's Verd Dean Eaton. That's correct. Welcome, welcome. Thank you and, so and much. And you're named after the drummer from Earth, Wind and Fire, and I was saying uh, to you the, that... The bass player. The bass yeah. player, I beg your pardon. That is really, really d uh, deep, and I mean, you had to live up to your name, didn't you? Well, yeah, but I didn't take up the bass. Unfortunately, <laughs> I do play keyboards, yeah. so that's that was been that's been my passion. You know, I wanted to write songs and stuff, so I decided to keyboard is the way to go. Piano. Yeah, but I mean, it's a timing game when it comes to music. You've been in Absolutely. the industry at least a decade, yeah. And you're coming up now with your second album, the other one you didn't release. What were the challenges in getting to where you are today? I think the issue with with the industry is the, is the saturation. Number one, number two is the fact that I've, I'm in a genre that's not really financed by the industry. Um, there's not enough money behind it in the R&B market and in the in the soul art, uh, artistry side of things. I think, but you know, honestly, when we, when we, we do stuff like collaborations and when we look at, at other ways of being creative, I mean, I've done two dance tracks on my new album, collaborated with artists like Pitch Black Afro Mendoza, produced them for the first five years of my career and stuff like that. So I think for, for me, there, were, there has been many challenges, but those sort of breakthroughs have given me a lot of a lot of uh, uh, leverage in the industry. Yeah, but also the marketing aspect. I just find that the artists, you know, you'll do a whole media intensive week and then it, it dies down. We don't blow our horn as it were. Uh, I, I think it's it's our country. You know, our country. We're not in a we're not in a position where there's a support structure for the music industry. And if you look at the states, you look at the UK. There's, there's mass hysteria when an artist releases an album. And another thing is our, our people are not starstruck in yeah, this country, you know, so I think it's... It's just like, go to the back of the queue, please, yeah. wait your turn. <laughs> okay, so you're from Wentworth. Yeah, Wentworth yeah. is where Ernie Smith comes from, my dear friend, uh, and a good friend, Sandy Aaron yes, yes. as well, whom you know. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so how, uh, how's Ernie assisting you? I know you, you do session work with him as well. Yes, I've done many, many sessions, recording sessions with him. Uh, like I said, this week I was in the Band Search 2011 with the Pavilion Moor with him, I was a judge as well. So I mean, we, we obviously connect from time to time. He's obviously very busy as well mm -hmm. uh, on his new album as well. So he's, and he's also producing many artists. So I also performed uh, this week with a friend of his, um, Swazi Tlamini. Yes. So uh, he's also worked on, on her album as well. So I mean, it's we tie up when we can, you know? Okay. You know, we get busy. But, but how do you make your money? I know that you mentioned that you produce for Pitch Black, Afro, Manandos and, and many other artists. You would get uh, that kind of stipend once a year. Uh, and then performances as well. Are you hectic? Are you totally booked? Uh, not exactly. I mean, I try to obviously spread myself around. When I'm focusing with studio stuff, if, if a client comes to me and says, look, I have X amount for an entire album, then I sort of zone in on that because I obviously want to give them the best of me. I don't want to say, look, I'm too busy. I'll squeeze you in and whatever. Yeah. What I do is like a lot of people said to me, why, why from 2006 to 2010 in terms of your release of the new album? So I said, you know, I do produce and do write and stuff for other artists. So I'd love, I love to give my best and my all with everything. So I mean, when it comes to uh, producing, that's what I do. I focus on that. So if I'm busy with production for a year, yeah. you know, I'll focus and in between that, I'll write and, and produce stuff for myself. Yeah. But like I say, making money in the industry comes from various sources. It's the, the recording studio, you know, the, the publishing stuff, the royalty side of things, live performances. Uh, then there's endorsement stuff. Uh, yeah, a little, bit, a little bit, a little bit of everything. Of everything but yeah. you said you're going to change your approach in, in, in the sense of getting to the people, Absolutely. connecting with your audience. I recently also just did my acting debut uh, yeah. on, I think it was Rhythm, Rhythm City. So next year I'm going to obviously look at that. There's also the modeling side of things. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, we're looking at a... There's totally no end to his talent, but <laughs> let's take a listen to Vert. Verda's got his second album out and you can make a perfect Christmas gift and make somebody happy over the holidays. He has won in 2006 uh, the best male vocalist for the Metros. Be My Queen was number nine on East Coast Radio and a number of other accolades as well. What does your music speak to? But it's a lot of romance, it's about girls. It's, yeah. it's just love, you know. You I like think... the stickies? No, no, no. Actually, I'm, I'm a one-woman man. 
uh, but okay. uh, when it comes to I think our, 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 there's, a, there's a, a sort of distorted perception when it comes to that sort that side of the industry I think everybody that wants to get in wants the rock and roll lifestyle wants everything to be all over the place and you know what my advice to them is don't even touch that stuff because if you if you get involved in that sort of thing you, you totally lose track so for me um, I hope that my music and the lyrical content it's clean stuff it's, it's stuff that that uplifts women I, I like to think of myself as one of the artists that is you know more on the lady side that represents and is pro woman you know yeah. so if there's any any uh, uh, for example any organizations that need a spokesperson just <laughs> <laughs> so you're lesbian like that hey? <laughs> no. love you go so where are you performing next uh, next I'm gonna be at the at a few festivals in Durban as well. There's a No Walls Festival coming up. It's an annual festival as well. Also in Wentworth, by the way. Mm -hmm. It's over three days and there's thousands of people that come through there. And then over the Christmas period, I'll be back. I'll be back here as well. Well, Christmas in Durban and be back here for the new year as well. Then we, we kick off the Verd uh, tour where it's basically communities like we were chatting in the ad break. Yeah. I'm targeting the communities. I feel as if, you know, we need to re-establish the connection yeah. um, and not be uh, just behind the camera with the fans. Yeah. God's blessings and abundance to Thank you. you. Thanks so much. so much. I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate Bird. He also opened for the likes of Buster Rhymes, Tamiya, has been in the industry for 10 years, produced Mendoza uh, and Pitch Black Afro amongst, uh, or just to mention a few. So go out there, get yourself the self-titled album. It's called Bird, and it's out at all good music stores. You can follow him on at Bird Eaton. Uh, that's his Twitter name, at Bird Eaton. Or you can go to verdonline.co.za, verdonline.co.za. We'll catch you after this.